Hi folks, it's Margaret again and I'm just uh, in the kitchen. I was watching one of uh, <coughs> excuse me, Deborah's videos and she was just having a little bit of rotting on her um, African violets and I responded by saying that uh, you know I usually am very careful with the watering of uh, my African violets because <coughs> here in England of course uh, you know the, the weather's turned now and I said I usually just um, just bob my finger in there and if it comes out with a little bit of moisture on then I don't I don't water them so uh, let's have a try this one <clears throat> that one's a little bit drier than that one and uh, now this one yes um, this is Bob Sherbin and uh, <coughs> this is Picasso. So they're ready for water, those two. Um, that was the one I showed you last week. And um, that's the Madame. And that's fine. She has this habit of uh, drooping like that. <coughs> anyway, of course, I've been preoccupied with the scale on the orchid, so. Uh, the African violets have just had to, uh, to uh, you know, take second place. But then today, <clears throat> I've got a frog in my throat tonight. I thought to myself, this is Otto, and Otto's been beautiful. And I've not even had the time to um, take some of these leaves off. Sorry, some of the, the flowers off that have, have died. But then when I looked at her, and I just thought to myself, goodness gracious. <clears throat> And if you look underneath, some of the leaves are gone. Can you just see? Really limp. Let me pick her up. And uh, she doesn't seem to be as perky as she should be. So what I'm going to do in a minute, and in fact, just put it down again. In fact, what I did is uh, just checked underneath and one or two of these little leaves here. Don't know that one well. Now that one's still intact. They just fell away in my fingers. So I'm just going to um, take her out of the medium now and just have a look and then I'll come back to you. So I've got her out of the pot now and uh, see if I can pick her up for you. So the medium is quite wet because it's been in water most of the day. And uh, oops, can I come on, focus? Come on. Is it going to have to focus? You have to bear with me, dear, because until it comes back in focus. There. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Don't know what I've done. You see, that's that. Now, I don't know whether that's unstable because of some rotting issue in there but that shouldn't be like that so I'm going to take all this wet medium away I know she doesn't completely oh she has now look at that now doesn't just that look at that So there was something wrong with it. Now, <clears throat> there's that plug. See this bit here, this damn holding now. That's the plug she came in. Now, of course, I can go like this now. Let me show you. Because she's been watered today. I 
just run my hands under the tap here. Now, I hope I haven't lost her because she was a, she was absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just drying my hand down this towel. And let's have a look at what we've got left. You see, they can go downhill. It's like any plant. I'm on my own light here, so I don't know. So there's some kind of rotting going on here. Oh dear. <coughs> And I've got the bag full there to, to repot her. So I'm going to have to, um, let's put her down here. I'm glad I've seen this today. Now, that's the pot. <coughs> Oops, I had her in. And uh, just smelling it. Just smells a little bit. Just a little bit worse for wear. Um, it's more like damp soil smell but it's here it's round here see <clears throat> now whether she's got enough roots to survive I don't know but she's got <clears throat> I'm going to have to um, cut all these blooms off now and then I'm going to um, I don't know whether that's... I'm going to have to get the magnifying glass. Hold on. Right, I'm back with the magnifying glass. And she's definitely got some rotting issues here. I don't know if it'll allow me to go in any closer. But um, you can see where these... You can see how they've... Oh, they've just gone completely. <clears throat> and if I turn her, which is the best way to turn her. See if I can turn her that way. There you go. Come on, Rick. I need your help. I mean, you know, Deborah's prompted me to have a look at... Um, my African violets today because she's got she's got one or two of hers uh, that are not doing too good and blow me down if I haven't got the same well I've no answer <clears throat> except um, it's certainly taking it down very very quickly this has So I'm going to, I'll come back in a minute, I'm going to um, just take all these flowers off her. I'm going to take the ones that have rotted underneath, or that appear to be rotting, and then uh, I'll be back in again in a minute. Right, <coughs> that's it. Those are the leaves that fell off. Just look at that. So, see if I can get her to focus down there. So you'll see the little bubbling bits down there now. That's the hydrogen peroxide. So I shall just let it fizz like that. And then I wash that pot out. <clears throat> I did say in the um, one of my earlier videos, I thought I got a little bit of white fly on um, on my orchid, uh, the um, the big pink one. I don't think this has. 
but just shows you see this has gone down um, within maybe 48 hours. Now if I'd have seen this yesterday, 24 hours ago, I might have been able to uh, act a lot quicker. So I'm going to wash that, um, that little container out. I'm going to um, pot it up in this um, African violet mix and um, keep my fingers crossed. Any, uh, Rick? Any ideas? If you have, please come back to us. We're all desperately searching, wondering why. Some of our African violets are rotting. Anyway, bear with me folks now and uh, I'll finish this video and um, probably come back to you at the weekend and let you know how things are progressing. Bye now.